So where exactly are these settings saved at? Well, by default, they're going to be saved in your Pro Tools plugin presets folder. That's a lot of P's in a row. So we'll click the down arrow here. We'll come down to Setting Preferences, where it says Set Root Settings Folder. Click that, and we look down here towards the bottom of the window that comes up, and it shows you the full path. So I'm on Windows, so it's C, Program Files. I'm on a 64-bit system, so it's x86. Common Files, the Digi Design, DAE, Plugin Settings, and then the folder will be whatever effect I'm saving. So if I'm saving a multi-chorus, it'll be called multi-chorus. If I'm saving like a Studio Reverb, it'll be called 11SR. That's another thing to look out for is sometimes some of the effects, when they're saved by default, they don't save with the name 11 beforehand. Like the multi-chorus, like I said, it saves by default at least on my system, it's saved with just multi-chorus. Okay, but the 11 Studio Reverb, that's saved as 11SR. Okay, so, so you might need to do a little poking around to find the folder. So now we'll come back to the Effects Presets area, go to Settings Preferences, and we'll look at Save Plugin Settings 2. This is where your, your files will be saved at. You can choose the Root Setting folder, which is the default. The Root Setting folder is your Pro Tools Plugin Settings folder, and that's by default. And I'd recommend you uh, leave it checked as that. But you can also choose Session Folder. Now if you choose Session Folder and then you save a setting here. Alright, so I'll just make some adjustments. Click this down arrow, choose Save Setting As. I'll call it MC22. Save it. Alright. Now when we come over here and we click this down arrow, you'll see we have a new section called Sessions Settings Folder. Okay, all these that you see right here, these are all saved in the root setting folder, which is C Drive, Program Files, x86, Common Files, DigiDesign, DAA, Plugin Settings, Multicores. Okay, so that's the default area where you save them to. But that last setting I saved was to the session folder. So we'll check our session folder here. So here's our session folder. But look in here, we have a plugin settings folder now. Click that. We have a multi chorus. Double click on that. Right there is our MC22 setting. Now I suggest you keep saving to your root folder because if you end up saving some settings to your session folder and then maybe you delete that session because you thought, eh, I'm just going to start over with that song or something. You could lose some settings there, but you may also want to save the settings to the session folder if you're going to be, say, moving that session to uh, one of your colleagues' systems and you want to be able to recall your settings uh, from their system as well. So you know how that works now, the settings preferences. I'll set that back to root folder. And as I mentioned earlier, if you saved several uh, settings to your session folder, they'll show up in this highlighted area where it says sessions setting folder. Now if I were to open another session, then I wouldn't have the option to choose uh, this chorus, unless I would come to the effects presets area, click the down arrow, then choose import settings. You could do it like that as well.